This is a survival puzzle rush record attempt on Chesterkum. In this first puzzle, we can see Nurik only defended once, we attack it twice, we can take it and win the pace. Also, checkmate. Here, our knight covers d2 and d2, so Rook to the back rank is checkmate. Just always look for checks in these early puzzles. Rook to the back rank, also check me again. This game was Rook to the back rank, me it. In this position, our bishop and queen form a battle rank, so we only were along this b1 to each 7 diagonal where queen goes, it's going to be defended by our bishop. So we can just plop it next to the enemy king, and that's checkmate. In this position, our rook and queen form a battery in each row, so our queen can just take each two. King's the only piece defending, not square, so that's checkmate. In this position, we've got check with the king. In this position, we've got check with the queen. It's checkmate. Just always look for checks, captures, attacks. Always look for forcing moves first in puzzles. Here, we've got battery with the queen and bishop. And then on the a8 to h1 diagonal, allowing us to take the pawn on g2 and that's me. In this one, the knight, our knight attacks G2, so does our queen. They only have one defender, so we can win this pawn. It's also checkmate. In, in this position, our rook can go back, go to the back rank and ch check the enemy king. The enemy king can only go to C2 or A2, and in both of those we've got checkmate to C1 or A1. In the we attack the queen so we can win the queen, but we've also got two attackers on the G7 square, and they've only got one defender, so that's me it. In this position, they've got nothing on the H5, and they can only block with the knight, and then we can use our knight to either their word checkmate or take their knight. In this position, we've got battery and A1 to each eight diagonal, so we can take the pawn on G7, and that's me. Just always look for checks. O only the king defends the F7 square, so our Queen can go there because it's protected by the rook. And then sack her queen in back rank. Since there's only one, one rook that defends f8. And then take it with our rook for a checkmate. In this position we can promote two queens. And that's also a checkmate. In this position, we can play queen h4 check. And the king goes to f1 or e2 to check me in the next move, and there's only two available moves. And the queen. In this position, our queen can go to the back rank. It can go to the back rank on d1, c1, or b1. D1 is defended by the queen, C1 by the rook, so we go to B1 and then take, take the piece. In this position, we can play Bishop D2 attacking the queen, all the Squares will be covered by the queen, meaning we win a queen. We can just take the knight and then take the queen. <laughs> In
in this position. Black is threatening to take our pawn on b2. We can defend the pawn on b2 and go check on the b3 square. Black only has one legal move, blocking with the queen, and then we take the queen and the chicken. After this, and the pawn. This is a technique of doing defender line. We've got two attackers on the d1 square, but their king and knight defender defend the d1 square. But we can take the knight, ref check. If he takes back on the pawn, it's mate. If he, if he blocks with the bishop, it's also mate. In this position, we've got two legal moves, king h7 and four. If we go back to f8, it's attacking the root. Attacking the bishop, he has to go there, he'll attack our knight. Now we can take the bishop. He attacks us with the rook, we just keep on moving over. And then we win as queen. In this position, we can play queen d3, getting close to the enemy king, and hang a non-stoppable mate with queen to g2, which we can play in a cycle screen. Here we can play queen d4. He will block with the pawn, since if he doesn't, it, since if he moves the king, it's main one. We'll take the pawn, he'll take our knight, then we'll take his rook. In this position, we can just push our pawn down the board to promotion. And then take the enemy pawn. And that's a winning position. Every puzzle, you end up in the winning position. And then in the puzzle. In this position, we can take, take his knight with our pawn. He'd take a rook, we'd take him back. It's a good trade for us. Be careful not to take with the knight here, we under under queen. And then take that and we're up. In this position, we could check with queen to f1, it's also mate. In this position, we've got check with bishop c5. I think bishop c5, he can block with the knight, block with the pawn, and move. He blocks with the knight, he blocks with the knight, we just win the knight. He blocks with the pawn, we take, he takes us, and we just get trade. And the way he moves, okay. he takes, we take back. He blocks with the queen, we take the rook, no, he's still. In this position, we can play queen e3, forking the king and rook, and running a rook. In this position, we can play pun e in this position, we can play pawn e4, threatening pawn e5, mate. Unthreatening his knight. And that's incredible. In this position, we can check with the queen or check with the rook. If we check with the rook, 
the king moves. And we check with our piece, the king moves up. So we check on the rook, we check on the queen. He blocks with the queen. We check on the rook, deflecting the queen, and then we take the queen. In this position, we we can sacrifice the rook. King has to take. We check with the queen, and then king has to go back, and then we bring the queen up for me. Ah, I misclicked. In this position, we attack the enemy king with our queen, and then. We set up a discovered check and then block the rook with our bishop and then me in next move. In this position we can take the bishop and force the king to b5 and where we have a triple fork and the king and the black rooks. In this position, black's attacking our queen. We're attacking their knight. But, yeah. yeah. We can take the queen and put the knight out. Knight will go here. 